How are you guys? Another glorious day. I'm thirsty. 25 to 5. First beer. Let's go for it. Um, do a beer metal review and I'm going to do it a side by side of the original, which is a proper job. Yep, yeah, I've been sent a proper job clone from Clive. Most of you know him. Cutter's Choice Homebrew. Um, ever such a nice fella. Down Exeter, um, around the area. Some of these roughly about eight weeks ago now. I've already done one review of his wheat beer, which was fantastic with half the stuff. And uh, la, 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 la. I've had his smoked frog, which is lovely, smoky, shinooky, you know, um, ale basically. Uh, but I put a live review on that on the BrewTube Facebook group. So, and I've got this Bass Bitter one, I'm saying it's Christmas in the Advent Ale box. As for your wheat beer, Clive, it's going to come at a later date. So I do apologise about that, but we'll get this up and ready. So guys, like I say, a proper job clone. Who doesn't love a proper job? So what I'll do, I'll open the original first. Drawn to me with this new fancy label, look. Powerfully hopped Cornish Ale. Great bit of smoke. Proper stands out. Just gonna put them in two standard pint pots. Um, this one's a Brewdog one, and Clyde's can go in a Keg Kingdom one. Now I know these are bulk conditions, so we've lost me. Already looking too nice. Can so Clyde mash up to it? I'm sure it can. It's a good brewer. PJ. Nice bit of hiss. Great smoke. Already got a big citrus bang straight up your nose. Now, a bit of yeast in the bottom of this as well. But I'll tell you something, colour comparison already. You guys can see that. That's bloody amazing. Leave the drop in there. Might be aggressive with that. But there ain't much difference there, is there? Not at all. You both can see they're heavily carbonated. More so of Clive's. On the aroma. It's great. The big citrus kick. They're literally bang on, they really are. So I'm gonna go in. Ooh, my bloody nose. Go with you on Clive. God bless you, many thanks for sending these out, mate. <laughs> Holy shit. That's outstanding. That really is outstanding. Um, two minutes. Sorry about that, guys. Just had to go and get the recipe. He sent me the notes um, back in uh, end of June. You know, we're bank holiday August now, so I've left it for a while, eight weeks, but the hops, they're still there. Really are. Right, so we've got proper job ish, he called it. I brewed up it on the 2nd of April this year, 2017. And it bottled up on the 16th of April. So it's been in May, June, July. It's been a good four months in Bolton when you look at it like that. Um, the yeast is taking it from four proper job um, bottles basically, because obviously we all know the bottle condition. So four of these, guess it washed them all through and what have you, you know, the yeast through. And yeah. And it kicks off and it comes out at 4.1%, where the original is 5.5. So, the grain, just pale malt. I think it's a Maritotta they use, isn't it? Maritotta pale. Um, so, pale malt, hops, Willamette, Chinook, and Cascade. Um, Cascade goes with anything, doesn't it? Throw it in anything. 
The shin up's great, it gives you that last little bit of smoky finish if you add it later. Um, with a met as well, a fruity. Come on, I need to stop waffling on, because look at that. It is absolute dream, a bloody dream, it really is. There's your original. There's your clone. The carbonation is so much better on this. So, so much better. We can see though, can't you, with the head. Um, it's going crazy in there as well. You know what? Still on this original. Powerfully hot, alright? You think Clive's definitely come out of this bottle. That is outstanding, it really is. Fair enough, this is lovely as well. Everyone does a proper job. Maybe this, maybe it's brewed up a big job. <laughs> well, it is. I'm sure proper job do a big brother, don't they? Um, so, so powerfully hoppy. Um, pineapple -y, very pineapple -y, with a great tropical citrus kick there as well. Clive, you have brewed up a proper winner there, my mate. Um, fair to say, that's the best homebrew clone I've ever had. I was sent to me, or you know, tried to not some of myself. That is definitely on my list to brew. A session now, four point one percent. Did I say it was? Um, you put up there as well with a five five, is it? Yeah. That's some else. So much more hoppier than the original. Um, I'd be interested to see if that, you know, is just some hops you said or a bit of hop in answer in there. I don't know. I don't think it would be, but bloody hell fire, my friend. That is top work. It really is, my mate. Look, we can see, guys, lacing still there, carbonation. And that's the original. Come on. What's going off here? This is like I say, Clive, this is the third beer I've had from you, mate, and mm, man, you can brew. I look forward to that bass you sent me. Um, and that'll be for Christmas in the Advent Ale box I'm doing. But yeah, so check the channel out, guys. He doesn't do much YouTube. Um, I think he just saw the shout out and stuff like that. Um, it's on Brewtube though, on our Facebook group online. Um, I'll put a link down to his channel below. Fantastic fella. And we're arranging a day out soon. Maybe I'll go down there and I'll meet up with Hapless as well. Because I think Graham's only in the next uh, city or something like that. Town, I don't know where it is. But that'll be a good day and we're going to do a, um, a brew day, all three of us, I think. So, Clive, cheers, my mate, once again. Top work, it really is. Cheers, guys.